We've got some good news for Lake Mead. More water is being sent to Lake Mead. When it comes to rivers and lakes, a steady water level is crucial for maintaining their natural balance. However, recent times have brought an astonishing twist to this norm, especially in the case of Lake Mead. The water content of Lake Mead has experienced an unprecedented surge, unveiling a truly captivating and slightly unnerving revelation. Scientists are worried as they grapple with this perplexing puzzle, fearing its potential ramifications on the delicate ecosystem and water management systems. So, why is the water level in Lake Mead rising at an alarming rate? And what could be causing this perplexing and potentially transformative occurrence? Are we witnessing a natural anomaly, or is something more profound at play? Get ready, because the answers may challenge everything we thought we knew. Nestled in the southwestern part of the United States between Nevada and Arizona lies Lake Mead, a stunning reservoir situated 39 kilometers or 24 miles east of the vibrant city of Las Vegas. The creation of Lake Mead stemmed from the construction of the mighty Hoover Dam on the Colorado River. This sprawling reservoir plays a vital role in quenching the thirst of the region's inhabitants, standing as the largest of its kind in the United States. Visualize the sheer grandeur of Lake Mead. It stretches out for an astonishing 112 miles, 180 kilometers, creating an awe-inspiring vista that commands attention, plummeting to a depth of 532 feet, 162 meters. It delves into the depths of its watery embrace, rising to an elevation of 1229 feet, 374 meters above sea level. It stands as a testament to the meeting of land and water on a monumental scale, enveloping an area of 247 square miles, 640 square kilometers. Its surface gleams under the sun's embrace, and within its liquid heart lies an astonishing 28.23 million acre feet, 34.8 billion cubic meters of water, a volume that sustains and nurtures. Yet, this tranquil beauty conceals a story of change and challenge. Recent times have ushered in a convergence of factors that have left their mark on Lake Mead's delicate balance. Climate fluctuations, unrelenting drought, a swelling population, and ever-increasing water needs have conspired to cause the reservoir's water levels to plummet far below their intended capacity. A stark reminder came in July 2016, when Lake Mead's waters receded to a historic low of 9.328 million acre-feet, 11.5 billion cubic meters, sounding a warning that could not be ignored. And then, just when one thought the depths could not be further plumbed, June 2021 witnessed a new nadir setting a fresh record for the lake's low levels. Fast forward to May 2022, and the reservoir languishes at a mere 26.63% of its once robust capacity, a mere 7.517 million acre-feet, 9.3 billion cubic meters. This precipitous decline has prompted an innovative response. Low-level pumps, installed in 2020 as a contingency, sprang to life in 2022, a protective measure against a specific threshold breach. The impact of these shifts is palpable. Navigating the waters has become an intricate dance, with some boat passageways shuttered while others accommodate only smaller vessels. The water level's relentless retreat below 1,075 feet, 328 meters, has led to the looming specter of a declared drought, potentially curbing downstream water delivery by a substantial 4.44% as the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation contemplates its course of action. Las Vegas, the closest urban neighbor to Lake Mead, experiences a parallel transformation as the spring season arrives, ushering in temperatures that nearly breach the 100 degree Fahrenheit, 37.8 degrees Celsius mark. As forecasts meticulously track the levels of snow accumulation, a visual narrative of nature's rhythms unfolds. Meanwhile, Lake Mead itself becomes the stage for a bold experiment in augmenting its waters. By redirecting water from the Colorado River, this endeavor seeks to bolster the lake's reserves. An early glimpse of its effectiveness is evident. Lake Mead has already risen by a foot, 0.3 meters, with projections suggesting it may ascend by a remarkable 3 feet, 0.9 meters, within the coming month. 
When comparing the graph of water levels this year to those of previous years, a remarkable shift becomes evident. Even at Lake Powell, positioned upstream from Lake Mead, there's a notable increase in water level, measuring over 5 feet, 1.5 meters higher. The United States Bureau of Reclamation, USBR, the agency responsible for managing water resources, likely didn't foresee this outcome, as their initial predictions projected a 20-foot, 6.1 meters drop in Lake Mead's water level for the year 2023. However, a recently released 24-month study by the USBR introduces a new perspective that has turned predictions on their head. According to this study, by October 1, 2023, Lake Mead is projected to rise by about 22 feet, 6.7 meters, marking a significant turnaround. Not to be outdone, Lake Powell, further upstream, is anticipated to experience a staggering surge, with its water level expected to increase by 50 feet, 15.2 meters. While this news undoubtedly brings relief and optimism to those who rely on the lakes, it's crucial to keep a balanced perspective. Lake Mead still remains a substantial 160 feet, 48.8 meters, away from reaching its full capacity. And Lake Powell, despite its notable gain, is still grappling with a gap of 120 feet, 36.6 meters, before it can be considered full. As a result, the lakes are not poised to overflow in the manner they famously did back in 1983. What has sparked this unexpected and transformative change? The answer lies in a timely, record-setting, high-level snowpack that graced the beginning of the year. This phenomenon assumes a remarkable significance, particularly in light of the challenges posed by persistent drought and the impacts of climate change experienced in the preceding years. Nature's ability to rebound and rejuvenate, even after such adversities, is a testament to its resilience. This development, a striking departure from earlier predictions, prompted the USBR to re-evaluate their data and study. The revision yielded a new outlook, highlighting the dynamic and often unpredictable nature of natural systems. As modern-day water scientists strive to draft a new water compact, a legal agreement governing water allocation, they confront the complexities arising from centuries of potentially flawed river data. Despite these challenges, the unwavering truth remains that the Earth and its intricate systems possess an inherent ability to assert their influence and reshape the narratives we construct. Zooming out from Lake Mead's shores, the narrative extends to encompass the broader landscape, the basin states. This collective, comprising Arizona, California, Colorado, Nevada, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming, has been actively engaged in devising strategies to curtail water usage, as guided by the updates to the River Compact provided by the USBR. Amid these concerted efforts, Arizona has emerged as a vanguard of change, boldly confronting water-related issues head-on. Tucson, a prominent city within Arizona, echoes this commitment to water conservation through a groundbreaking agreement with the government. The city has opted to forego its usual water allotment received from the Central Arizona Project in Lake Mead for a full year, with plans to extend this arrangement over three years. This decision entails relinquishing approximately 50,000 acre-feet, 61.7 million cubic meters of water in 2023, followed by 30,000 acre-feet, 37 million cubic meters, in both 2024 and 2025. In aggregate, this translates to a substantial 110,000 acre-feet, 135.7 million cubic meters, of water. In exchange for this sacrifice, Tucson will receive compensation from the USBR, which operates a new federal water system conservation program designed to provide drought relief across the West, particularly in the Colorado River Basin. Meanwhile, another basin state, Nevada, is contemplating groundbreaking legislation that could empower water managers with the authority to limit residential water usage. If enacted, this legislation would empower the Southern Nevada Water Authority to control the water consumption of single-family residences that utilize more than half an acre foot of water 163,000 gallons or 617,000 liters per year. This bold step marks a potential first in the United States, signifying an innovative approach to addressing water scarcity challenges.
While these endeavors may provoke debates and controversy, they also underscore a collective recognition of the need for decisive action. Such measures are reflective of a growing awareness that responsible water management is not just a matter of individual or regional concern, it's a shared responsibility that requires cooperation, innovation, and a commitment to sustainable practices. In the midst of California's arid landscapes, a battle rages over water rights, a conflict that not only exposes the intricate web of interests, but also underscores the deep-rooted connection between water and life itself. Reports from France 24 highlight the determined stance of desert farmers in California who staunchly defend their right to water access. Yet this resistance is met with mixed sentiments among residents, manifesting in the cautious and often skewed portrayal of the unfolding water situation. Local sources, channels, and reporters appear hesitant to present a neutral and unbiased narrative, resulting in a complex tapestry of perspectives. As 2026 approaches, a milestone looms on the horizon. The 100-year-old compact, conceived in 1922 to govern water rights allocation, is set to expire. Yet the pathway to a consensus among basin states is shrouded in uncertainty. Despite prolonged debates, the prospect of reaching a unified agreement seems to wane. The federal government, no longer content to wait, has taken a proactive stance, releasing proposals aimed at preparing for the worst-case scenario, a future where the status quo persists, perpetuating unsustainable water usage patterns. Within this framework, the United States Bureau of Reclamation unveils a new plan, presenting suggestions to circumvent the Glen Canyon Dam on Lake Powell. Gary Wachner, the executive director of Save the Colorado, a nonprofit organization, likens this plan to a last-ditch Hail Mary attempt to salvage the power plant. He asserts that the prevailing strategy of managing the entire Colorado River system for electricity generation is illogical when alternative methods exist. One such alternative, encapsulated in the USBR's proposal as Alternative 6, advocates for investing in renewable energy sources. The vision encompasses harnessing the power of solar and wind energy to complement existing hydropower resources. While these alternatives hold promise, considerations about scalability, required land mass, regulatory authorization, and technical expertise cast a shadow of complexity over their implementation. The potential implementation of a dam sidestep plan carries significant implications. If realized, it could restore the Colorado River's natural flow through the Glen Canyon Dam, precipitating a cascade effect. Previously, ideas such as drilling holes at the base of the Glen Canyon Dam were put forth, but the proposal to bypass the dam introduces a different approach, one that carries economic advantages by repurposing the dam for alternative uses, rather than demolishing it. This newfound alignment between federal entities and environmental advocates, a departure from previous clashes, adds a layer of complexity to the discourse surrounding water management. In the backdrop of this intricate saga, Lake Mead's waters finally experience a resurgence, a hopeful sign that the water flow is being replenished. However, this resurgence alone may not be enough to counteract the relentless demands on water resources. The pressing question lingers. Can the basin states bridge their differences and forge a consensus before the expiration of the River Compact? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.